we moved from Boston. I was actually born in Boston. And then we moved here and they were kind of freaking out. They didn't know if there was a good school for me to go to. I'd finished preschool. Um, and they were kind of looking around and then they came to CBS and I remember uh, Jim Baylor, they said, was the guy who really sold them on it because he gave them a tour and walked around the halls and they, they just really, really liked it and they liked the environment. Um, and then I remember them telling me that they kind of debated for a bit and then they decided the best thing they could do for my sister and I, because she was also a lifer, was to invest in our education. So they said, hey, we'll try it, see if it works, and it did. Uh, so that's kind of how I came to be at CDS, I guess. I was obsessed with sports. I mean, I'd, I'd been really, really into sports. I'd, I played hockey for a few years. I played soccer really every summer until, I think until high school. And I'd done a little bit of basketball outside of school. Um, but I really loved the sports at CDS. I would do soccer in the first term and basketball in the second term and then softball in the third term until I got to middle school where I started playing rugby. The coaches encouraged was like team spirit and um, encouragement and sportsmanship and really, really something more positive than just kind of driven to win, which I, I find I, I value more maybe because I never won that much and so <laughs> I always thought that was more important than winning. I've always been pretty interested in what exactly is happening in the world. Me to we started, they started going on trips at the school, I think in grade 11 over March break, that was the first, the first trip I'd been on. That was probably the first really, really big, um, big thing with social justice I'd done. I mean, I, I'd helped out, I'd volunteered before in really, really kind of small areas, but that that really jump started. That really changed my life. We um, we were in a community called Sikarar in Kenya for about 17 days. I think there were 28 of us from the school. And I mean, the actual experience of meeting um, all the children who were going to the school um, that we were working on, and all the people in the community was in itself so incredible. And that act definitely altered the way I lived my life personally with like water use and food use and waste and, and all these kind of things. It just really opens your eyes when, when you get to see it firsthand. I'd never done any drama or theater before grade eight with Mr. Garby. Um, and then that was a lot of fun. And I had done sports for three terms since grade four. And I wasn't sick of it, but I kind of wanted to try something new and so, um, the end of grade eight going to grade nine, I was talking to my friends and I was thinking like, hey, I, maybe I want to do the play because a couple of my really close friends had done the plays before and they kind of talked me into it. So really, it was just by chance that um, I got a part. I didn't think I was even gonna make, make the show and then I did and I had um, a decent part and kind of started working with Mr. Garvey and Miss B pretty closely. Um, and just after that, it really kind of skyrocketed. No, I, I mean, they definitely let me do all the things I wanted to do. I had so many different interests and I really got to dip my toes in pretty much everything um, or most things that the school has to offer. And then they kept me on the right path, luckily.